almost a complete whiteout. It kind of reminds me of England, what it looks like on a daily basis. Apparently, since I left England back in January, it's been like this most of the time, raining nearly every day for the past three months. Over here in the Philippines, it's just been hot and sunny for the last three months with very little rain. We've had quite a drought this year. And it's about, did I say it's half five in the morning? Some carabaos, carabaos over there. There are like three of them. Yeah. It is absolutely lovely this time of the morning. So, like, refreshing. The temperature's nice and cool at the moment. I don't expect the rain to last today. They reckon it's going to be 35 degrees and sunny. Hold on, Kevin's seen a snake. Let's investigate. I will slowly remove this this rope. Nope, it's hiding well. Be careful. I think it's gonna it's gonna jump in the air at us. It will jump to your face. Yellow. Yeah, come on, man, pero yellow. Well it's certainly gone to ground. No. <laughs> the last piece. If it's not under there, I'd like to know where it's gone. There it is. I think there's going to be one pissed off snake in a minute. You'd have to pull the. <laughs> oh, there it goes. It's gone. Oh, it's gone down the back of the crate. Oh, well, that was exciting. It's, it's down the back of these crates there. So I'm not going to go digging in there for it.
<laughs> there we go, there's Ken delivering the eggs. She has a client here at the bus terminal, so she'll drop her eggs just through there. It is absolutely cooking today. I think it's going to be around about 37 degrees. Ooh. Just popping into this printing services place. Ken's getting something for other. But look at the printing press in here. Yeah, they do anything in here digital. There's lots of places like this around. But look at some of these photographs. They're pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, I like these. <laughs> You could have your whole family portrait done. Anyway, look at the printing press. Hey, yeah, can you get your photo done? You have this, right? We just need to get the camera. You have this, right? Sorry? You have this, all this. Oh, yeah, 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 I have all, I have all this, but it's all in my attic now. That's what I'm saying, you can bring that over here, you can have your own Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But look at this. Look at this printing press. For anyone who likes printing press, it's not, not that little teeny one there. That big one. Nicole, before we go, just stand by that printing press so you can get a perspective. Just about there. That, that's how big that press is. That is absolute monster. Yeah. Can you imagine how much that press would cost if you had to buy it? Holy crap! He's printing out a bloody uh, something pretty big. Before they will make it like this, they have to eat it first like that. They yeah. Have to eat it and then oh yeah. The one they eat it will pass here. Four hundred fifty pesos. That's correct. Nicole, you're a genius. <laughs> <laughs> There's something else that's quite interesting, which I see a lot, especially in the towns, built up areas. <coughs> You've got pockets of water meters just on the side of the street where people walk by, and they've got plastic pipes like there, and they just run off to the different buildings and businesses around. Like there's a pipe there just going underneath the gravel, and that's basically how it is. a pair of sunglasses you're spoiled for choice Capi the Capi coffee shop my young good time hello sir we've never seen this little cafe before how long have you actually been open for? Um, about two weeks now. Two weeks? Oh, that'll explain it. Well, it's a lovely hot day outside, and you're just coming here for some refreshments. Because I'm really thirsty. I think we'll try the hot milk tea and a tray of chips, I reckon. I'll repeat your order, sir. Two Kanawa, 52 ounces, and the chips. So I'll prepare that right now. It's a bit messy, yes. Milk tea, popping out milk tea by the way. So refreshing. Ice. Mm. What else you got? We have chicken. Look at these, look at these cute little forks. <laughs> they could almost do with a, like a, a jeweled toothpick. Mmm. 
Cheers, the big ears. There we go, we've got a little audience outside. How's it going? <laughs> we have some complimentary free chips here from the owner. So thank you very much, sir. It's much appreciated. This is now my favourite little cafe and you're my new best friend. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Those chips are nice. Oh. There you go, guys. That'll keep you cool. Well, next stop, can I? Yep, we're gonna top up your load. Being a convenience store, once a week I have to come in here and top up my load. So I've got some data on my phone. Hello, ma'am, how are you? I'm fine, hi, <laughs> sir. Excellent, here I am again. So you've got our phone numbers. So what she'll do is she'll tap into that phone there and then that will send the load to my phone mm -hmm. and that'll be it for another seven days. Yeah, one week consumption. One week. <laughs> one week consumption. <laughs> I never heard of uh, data on your phone as consumption, yeah, but there yeah. you go. 270. 270. 270 pesos. Look at the size of that calculator. Yep. That's it. Thank you, ma'am, and I'll see you next week. Thank you, bye. Bye. Right, while well, Ken's getting some headphones for her mobile, I'm going to stand out here. We're on a little side street just on the edge of town. That little coconut tree there, that's a small one. Boy, oh boy, it is hot today. As we're into April now, it's getting hotter and hotter. We're getting into the height of summertime here in the Philippines. And man, oh man. We're definitely having to put the aircon on and on the evening times because it just gets a little bit unbearable. I'll tell you something, that milk tea with ice, wah, was just the ticket. So if you fancy some spare ribs, Hi. well, hello, how are you doing? Fresh beef. Fresh beef? beef. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna cook high here. Blood. No high blood. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's tonight's dinner. Let's see what else we got on offer here. We have pig trotters. If you're into that. <laughs> Hello, ma'am. <laughs> mm. I'm actually not sure what this is. Oh, now i there's uh, plenty of choice here. Oh, you've got a cow's head. <laughs> that doesn't float my boat, by the way. There's all the meat section. Oh, hello, how are you doing? Come with the car. Hello. I thought I'd just have a quick walk around while Ken's buying the dinner. And we've got the fish section over there. But it's beef tonight. Chicken? Yeah. Yeah. Lots. Lots. Tell us, baby. 
for it. Sweet and sour chicken. Is it as good as the, the Crispy King? No, like chowking. Oh my god. <laughs> Ken, have you tasted the chicken's feet? I do. It's yummy though. Oh. It's the most yummy, the tastiest part of the chicken is the feet. But I'll tell I'm you, holding to a Chinese. You ain't putting it on my plate. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> that's, a, that's a big no from me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind chicken, but I don't want to eat the feet. Chicken head? Yes, chicken head. Chicken head? Yes. Do you know what that tastes like? Is it any good? Yes. Yeah. Good for barbecue. <laughs> I don't think I want to try. I'll have a drum. This for barbecue. Give me a drumstick any day, not a chicken head. Or the chicken feet? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh my god. It's like the hammer house of horrors. Only the feeder, only the feeder, control away. You have to be a local to know what you're eating here. Yeah. I guess once you taste these things, they might be very nice. It's just the very looking at them, knowing what it is. <laughs> she's got the beef, now she's getting some pork. Yeah. And with some drops and chicken. Add your hand there. You okay, stop. Yeah. You stop uh, everything, huh? Oh, no. And of course it's cheap. It's all very cheap here. There's the old hot dog style sausages again. No Cumberland or Lincolnshire sausages here. Bye, cheers. Hi. Right, so. Hello, how are you doing? Hello. Hello? You have any bananas? <laughs> We've got to find some bananas. Ken shot off again, so I don't know where she's gone. There is so much fruit in this place. Well, there's some bananas. Unfortunately, she, Ken's got the money. She's got a blender. She's going to get some bananas, stick them in the blender, and make a banana milkshake. But I've got to find her first. What a selection. We won't be short of fruit here. Oh, there she is. Ah, oh, you found the bananas. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, gonna make banana milkshake. Gonna try out your new blender and hope it yeah. don't explode. <laughs> because it's made in China? <laughs> made in China, boy. It might catch fire. Oh, yeah. That's, that's the danger. It's not run by a battery, is it? No. no. It's not called an yeah, EV blender. <laughs> oh, look at all these pineapples. Of course, you have the Del Monte pineapple plantation is very close to here. Watermelons over there. So many monkeys? Yep. You know when, when the bananas are getting really like yellow when they got the black on them and they're really That's ripe? So That's the best time to eat them. Do you want to try dragon fruit? Do you want to try that one? Oh, dragon? Dra dragon fruit? Yeah, hell yeah, let's try it. That's a dragon fruit. I have no idea what it tastes like, but we'll find we out. We have our own, but no fruit at the moment. Oh, okay. I guess I best try the dragon fruit. They say it's high in fiber and antioxidants and tastes a cross between a pear and a kiwi fruit. I guess we're gonna find out.
Mm -mm. Definitely tastes like a pear. It's rather yummy. I like it. I think I'm going to be buying a few more of these. They're really flipping nice. Mmm. <laughs> well then, that's the end of the video. Take care out everybody. Have a good one. And I guess I'll see you all in the next one. See ya.